So the neglected manager, even uh, they were neglected, they have been brought at the very young age. Our, um, early days we can manage conservatively as we manage by the uh, acute manage of fractures. So but the thing is we have to ha have a, a vigil uh, follow up, otherwise the acute manager will become a delayed or missed manager. This is a case, it's my own case. So just a, uh, so seven years child, this manager uh, found out in the first day, just give a hyperplexion casting the child has removed by himself on the fourth day the parents uh, missed the follow-up this is what we found at the end of fourth weeks uh, the absolute became a missed manager that uh, became a big headache for the doctor and for the parents so when the missed manager these are the controversies happening and, and the discussion going on all pediatric forums when we uh, having a case of missed manager these are the questions first whether he need a open reduction or closed reduction and if he needs osteotomy, what kind of osteotomy? If osteotomy, whether he needs bone grafting or not, what is the implant of choice? It is a tens or KY or plating. And whether he needs annular ligament reconstruction or not, if yes, how we have to do? And the role of uh, external fixator and the transcapillar wire, this is always a controversy uh, in all the pediatric forums. This is the first, first case. This is eight years girl slip and fall. This is attended by one of my friend in Nirbir Hospital. He found it's a completely, absolutely, uh, it's a clear case Mondegia. The radial head was completely out. He taken to the OT and just he didn't do anything. Just he put a trans radiocapillar wire. He thought it's everything went on fine. So on the fourth day or fifth day, the x-ray was taken. So then he found this radial head is completely out. The mistake he made is he didn't recognize the ulnar component, which is the, the reversal of the ulnar bow. He missed it. So he took a lot of pain to convince the parents to take the ch so child for the uh, second op. So the child accepted for the parents accepted on the 11th day. So we took the child to the voting. This is the, so we removed the wire. The radial head was completely out. So we tried to put the um, head in, but the being the 11th day, the, fra the, uh, the green stick fracture was a little sticky. So the, the primary surgeon promised the parents that they won't create any scar over the girl child. So we have to do a percutaneous osteotomy and we reverse the radial uh, ulna bow and we put a tens and this is a three, uh, nearly two months follow up, everything was fine, the radial head is congruent and the osteotomy site was healed well with the full function. This is the second case, it's from Suvagasi, treated by a senior surgeon, this is um, as a um, managed conservatively, this was the picture, so we, we took the child to the OT, see when we receive a missed manager, we can like first we can try a close reduction generally after three to four weeks it's very difficult to go to reduction so then we have to create a space for the radial head so we did the osteotomy and put a plate then we try to uh, push the radial head so it didn't budge at all so we plan to open the radial head and we debrate all the loose and the on element uh, even though we could apply the radial head in the so we plan to do an annular ligament reconstruction using the forearm fascia. So this is the end of three months, full function, healed well, it's a congruent joint. The next case, this is from Tutukudi. So operated, is a kick, uh, grade one olecranon uh, commutative fracture with some bone loss. A uh, debridement and the tension band wiring was done in the first day itself. In the peroperatively, the CM findings are all looks good. So this is the picture on the fourth day. So we took the child on the 12th or some 13th day. So we considering the alignment of the Allah, there is a length and the angulation, we, the, this is the CM picture, when push the radial head, it, it's like a ping pong, it goes in and comes out. So we thought some maybe some hindrance to uh, put the radial head inside, so we opened the cockets approach. So we, we found there is no, no structure was there to hold the radial head. So we plan for a, a annular just a ligament reconstruction, not the osteotomy, because already in the ulnar length and angulation was satisfactory. So this is what we have done, we make a forearm fascia. Already operated and the open injury in the forearm fascia is not strong as we expected. So we created annular ligament reconstruction with, we augmented with the synthetic fiber tape. This is a three month old follow up and the child was having a full, now the implant being removed along with the, this button also. Uh, this is an interesting case. This is a seven year child came with the complaints of uh, recurrent popping up of some structures over the, so I don't know whether it's a mandigia or a recurrent radial head dislocation. I went through the literature. Uh, So every time we supinate, 
and pronate it comes out and goes and sits in its place. So this is the picture, one in uh, supination, another in the pronation. Probably it could be uh, it's because the child was having a trivial fall. So the problem we have to address whether what is the, because if we even send the child for the MRI, and the MRI shows dislocation of the radial head, they didn't uh, give any point regarding the collateral ligament or annular ligament status. So approach, no ligament and the collateral is also not great. So we plan to reconstruct the annular ligament and the collateral is also reconstructed. We did the osteotomy not as a conventional what we are doing for the chronic mandigia. This osteotomy we, we made like a derotation osteotomy to keep the head in a proper position. So this is three months old follow up except 5 degree of FFD in the child was having full range of function with no radial head dislocation now. Uh, for completion sake this is a case of 8 years child he is a known hemophilic child he is brought at the end of third month is a missed mandigia. Uh, uh, due to the fear of the hemophilia, just we plan to do an external fixator with the minimal blood loss. Uh, just we put a fixator and we, we create it in such a way to distract in the flexion um, uh, distraction osteotomy. At the end of three months, the joint was well congruent and the, uh, and the, the range of motion also good. So conclusion, the duration of the surgery of the bandage is very, very important. The, because it depends upon this, we can plan whether we can do conserve or uh, surgical management. The, Finally, in the ulnar bow and the congruent radiographer, this is the key point. We can, we can bring either by conservative or osteotomy, XVs, whatever it is. Reduction is inconcurrent or springy. There is nothing wrong. There is no thin in opening the joint and ulnar ligament reconstruction may be needed. Because if you go for ulnar ligament reconstruction, we can mobilize the child as well as possible and we can have a good sleep. Uh, uh, this is a take-home message. Recognition is very, very, very important in both acute and chronic mandigia. It's not benign as many people believe it won't create any problem. It's not a, a scenario here. It's having a unique complication. In the neglected mandigia, we can attempt a uh, mandigia and uh, radial head reconstruction. We can bring the near normal except very few conditions like when the radial head is completely deformed and the flattening of the capitulum and the valgus deformity of the neck of the radius. These are the very few conditions we cannot address the neglected man. Otherwise, other irrespective of the age of the child and the age of the injury, we can attempt a, a reconstruction in chronic mandigia. Uh, thank you.